coast, in the surfer's paradise of Tofino, there's another kelp artist at work. Lise Surrette gained her passion for working with objects given to her by the ocean in the 13 years that she worked as a lighthouse keeper at some of BC's most remote outposts. Finding a piece of dried kelp on the northwest tip of the Queen Charlotte Islands in January was like finding a rose in the desert. And it spoke to me. <laughs> and I made my first rattle. And it was amazing. And I gave it to someone who was expecting a baby that spring. And that was the first rattle was almost like 25 years ago. The rattle is a tube made of two pieces of bull kelp, one bulbous head on each end. It's about a meter long, and as Lee's slowly tilts it from side to side, it sounds like trickling water. A soft, deep red leathery material joins the two kelp tubes together. What is that? That's inside-out kelp that I've turned. I call it leather kelp or seasoned kelp. And I've dyed it with beets, so it's got this wonderful pattern and array of, of color, which is, you know, kind of red blood. And I've inserted some, not blood, but it's kind of, it's, it's pretty powerful color. Feel how smooth it is. Oh, it really does <laughs> feel like leather. <laughs> it does. I ask Lise what makes the sound. But this one is made from kelp, dried kelp, and it's made with um, sea urchins, the resonance of sea urchin spines. That's what's actually creating that wonderful sound is the small little seeds and beads and piece of kelp that I have inside that are actually, you know, just resonating. You can see in this bowl I have here, I've got like a thousand of them in here. Oh, so they're really big. Is that well, how big they are inside the rattle? They're like a good yeah. two, three centimeters long. Well, I, I cut them to length as well because um, if the kelp radius is only three quarters of an inch, I cut the needle to fit. Oh, okay. And I place them, as you can see, in a bit of a, sometimes in a DNA sort of pattern. I look inside the kelp ah, tube. So we're looking inside a little tube of kelp now. And it's got, how did you get those little, little that's it, needles that's of it. sea There's urchin a, spines stuck inside at all The angles. opposite of a porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Yeah, it's all the spines pointing inwards. And then you have, that's the resistance that I, I place seeds and beads in there. And when they fall through that, it creates this wonderful resonance that just makes the hair off my, every hair stand up on my, always, I've been working with this for years and it doesn't stop. <laughs> Two West Coast women, Lori Foster, inspired by the visual, the colors of the kelp and how light passes through them, and Lise Sorette, drawn to the spirituality, the sounds, the sense of connection to the ocean. Each of them, in their own ways, sharing with us the gifts from the sea. For North by Northwest, this is Jacqueline Wind on the outer shores of Vancouver Island. Jacqueline Wind, what wonderful sounds there. And you can find the work of Lee Sorette and Laurie Foster at many galleries in Tofino and in Euclid. <laughs> 